Hi guys, my name is Akudede. Welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, it's lovely to have you. But if you're old, hey boo, it's nice to have you back. Now, this might be my third buffalo recipe that I'm making. But hey, I love buffalo so much that every time I'm trying to develop a new recipe. And this one is an equal banger. I love it. It's absolutely amazing, delicious. You can have it as a snack with porridges, with anything you want. So yeah, let's get right into the video. But before then, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, okay? now for our ingredients we have some flour we have you can use all-purpose flour or soft flour we have some sugar some salt and then some nutmeg powder we have some active yeast as well and then some pineapple essence and then water of course some warm water okay then most definitely we need our mixing bowl right so yeah that's it right there <laughs> so first of all i'm going to put my flour into my mixing bowl next up the sugar then we go on with our salt yes add all of that in there and then our nutmeg powder we're gonna give all of this a good mix before we add the other ingredients okay we want to make sure we mix the salt properly before we add our yeast otherwise the salt with direct contact with the yeast is going to kill our yeast and we don't want that at all that's why I mixed the first one first before the yeast goes in so this is perfect okay now we're going to form a butter and with that we're going to use some water now this water is warm to touch okay it's not cold because if it's cold it's going to take so long for the butter to rise and we don't have too much time okay we want to do this quick 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 and eat some delicious mm, yummy yummy both fruits <laughs> okay okay and it's not supposed to be too hot if it's hot it's going to kill the yeast and it's not going to rise or it's not going to activate it okay and i'm adding the water gradually from years of experience i've noticed that flour can be a bit funny it can really really be a bit funny sometimes um two cups of water will make it perfect sometimes two cups of water is going to make it either too light or too so yeah so you, get, you just have to add it gradually and then be testing the the dough to see i uh, mean the butter to see if it's the right consistency now let me show you how to get the perfect shape to get the perfect shape of both food it starts from how you mix it and the quantity of water you add to your mixture okay if the butter is too light that is if you add too much water it's going to be a little bit light okay and then when you fry it it's going to be a bit airy it's going to be airy and when it's airy when another one falls onto it or when you put it into your 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 colander or your plate or whatever to to drain or to strain it's going to press down it's going to lose some air so you have to make sure that your butter is the right consistency which is what i have here and that's exactly the measurement i'll be giving you in the description box so check the description box i've added my pineapple essence this essence is a bit much because it's not concentrated at all it's, it's not concentrated at all so um, also consider your essence when you are adding the water okay you may have to add more water and then i used a tablespoon and half that may sound a lot but it's not a lot at all it is very very not concentrated so mix the butter really nicely and smooth and you have to be quick with it okay so that you can have some time give the, the butter some time to rise once we are done mixing we're gonna cover with a cling film and then a kitchen towel and set it in a warm place to rise this should take between 45 minutes to one hour guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please this is a good time to do so click on the subscribe button and also share this video so other people can watch as well don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave all beautiful comments in the comment section below thank you guys so much this is an hour later and look how beautiful our butter has risen who is ready for some both fruit? i am i cannot wait and this process is so interesting it's so i mean i love it i just love frying both fruit. just it's just therapeutic i think just scooping the butter into the oil watching it brown in stages is just a beautiful thing now i've been heating some oil on medium heat also another tip if you want to maintain a beautiful shape you don't want to go in with very hot oil and then one thing i do when i'm frying both with this i realize that every time the first batch doesn't look too good okay the subsequent batches do so what i do now is 
I test the oil with just one drop of bofro. That's what I did early on. So I just fry one bofro and make sure that the bofro touches every corner of the oil. After that, when I start scooping into it, it's going to come out beautiful. I realized this from years of frying bofro. Guys, I'm a bofro chef i'm a bullfruit lecturer i'm a bullfruit expert you have no idea so you have to try this recipe it is delicious you'll be so hooked to it i have people who are hooked to my old videos and i know you guys will be hooked to this one as well it's delicious also another tip to be able to get all sides of your bullfruit browning beautifully you need to make sure that the part you're using to fry is is a bit full just like so you notice that i added two extras to mine that way when you turn the both fruit is able to stay where you put it otherwise it's just going to be floating and all that even with that you see it's still struggling a bit but with time it'll be able to turn perfectly into the direction it's supposed to go to and you get a beautiful beautiful both fruit just like so look at that look at that isn't that beautiful i love it oh, my mouth is watering my mouth <laughs> i can't wait to have this with some cocoa everybody loves bullfruit okay and this is an authentic recipe just like the street side bullfruit i mean maybe better than the street side bullfruit you will love it and enjoy it okay so once your bullfruit is beautifully fried like this you take it out of the oil and then lay them on a paper towel i prefer to use a paper towel to put in them in the colander or a sieve okay so just about a week ago okay i wrote bullfruit on facebook and a friend of mine, his name is um, Bruce, Mr. Bruce called Bruce. He called me and said, Aku, what is Bofruit? The name is not Bofruit. He started educating me. So I want to share with you guys today. So he says the name is Buffet Loaf. Buffet Loaf. And then some people shortened it to say Buff Loaf. So back in high school, when I was in school, Wesley Girls, we used to say Buff Loaf. Beth buff buff loaf anything goes so how do you call it to what do you think how was the right name that you call it but buffet loaf makes a lot of sense so buffet loaf buff loaf beth buff both fruit anyhow we call it we still enjoy it the same so here we are done frying our buffet loaf or our buff fruit and it looks so good so delicious i mean perfectly shaped i love it it's yummy Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to subscribe, share, um, give this video a thumbs up and enjoy this recipe. Try this recipe, okay? Try it for your family tomorrow, any day. And it's so easy to make. It is so, so easy. I have so many other videos coming up. How's that Coco, Kose and all that good stuff. So thank you for watching today. I'll see you next time.